Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. It is time for a Bible. The B I B L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B I B L E. Bible. Yay. This is my Bible. I open it up wide to see what it is saying on the inside. Now let's bow our heads and close our eyes for a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Gracious Father, we come before you today. I say thank you, dear Lord. Thank you for your continued mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your wisdom among your people, dear Lord. Please continue blessing us with your peace and also give us confidence these troubled times, dear Lord. And continue blessing us and encourage us for, for the some of your people all worry, but we do know, dear Lord, that all things to you are definitely possible. In your name we do pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls. So today we're going to continue talking about the Last Supper. Remember yesterday we talked about Jesus coming to the disciples and washing their feet and how they were so shocked and amazed. The reason why, basically because imagine when you're walking, they didn't have shoes or sneakers like we did. So they had sandals. So imagine you walking on a dirty road. You're walking days at a time, night at a time. Your feet, of course, they get dirty. So it's basically a servant to service job to wash your feet. So the disciples they followed Jesus and they were so shocked and amazed of how humble Jesus became and basically wanted to wash their feet. That's why they were so stunned when he decided to wash theirs. So let's continue reading the story of the Last Supper. Now, as Jesus did something else, he picked up a loaf of bread and blessed it and broke it into pieces. He gave the bread to disciples to eat. Jesus said, this is my bread and body. Every time you do this, think of me. In the same way, he took up a cup of wine and blessed it. He gave it to the disciples to drink. This is my blood. It is poured out to forgive the sins of many. Now, remember yesterday we talked about a story also how Jesus said, what are those who will deceive him and how they were shocked? Let's continue on that story. Now, the time has come for me to go away. Where am I going? You cannot go yet. I am going to heaven to prepare a wonderful new home for you. But I'll return for you soon. Now, at first, you'll be very sad, but do not be frightened. Soon, you understand, and you will be filled with joy. That's what also he said unto the disciples. Now, from reading the story, The Last Supper, is very familiar what we do at Mount Zion and what also Christians do on every first Sunday of the month, which is called communion. Okay? We break the bread and then we drink of the wine. Now, now the bread is symbolic, as I just read, as the body of Jesus, and the wine is symbolic of the blood of Jesus as Christians. Of course, what we discussed before, you have to be baptized in order to partake in communion. So, of course, a lot was going through the disciples' mind. For one, Jesus basically saying he's going to heaven and he can't join them. And he's going to prepare a home for them. And then Jesus as well basically saying him washing their feet. And then to add on, Jesus basically saying that someone will betray them. So a lot was going on. So a lot so a lot of them had a lot of emotion going on trying to figure out what was Jesus saying, what was about to happen. But they didn't know what was going to happen to Jesus.